Hey everybody, welcome back to the Wolf Pit with another episode of What Are We Eating? Today, we're trying Hungry Man's 15 ounce grilled beef patty frozen TV dinner, which consists of grilled beef patties with homestyle mashed potatoes, savory beer gravy, and mixed vegetables, all for $3.74. Now this is one time they correctly called a patty, a patty. Most of the time, they describe their meat product as a patty, when they really should describe it as a form meat slurry concoction. Homestyle mashed potatoes? I doubt it, unless they've had my mother-in-law's crap style mashed potatoes. Hungry man mashed potatoes are notoriously gross, but I don't really want to judge the potatoes before I try them. Who knows, maybe they improve the mashed potatoes. But I'm going to continue to try their mashed potatoes until they improve for you, the people, so you don't have to. But that beer gravy sounds intriguing, but I gotta be careful. I don't want to get my hopes too high. Out of 55 reviews, the Hunger Man Grilled Beef Patty Dinner got 3.1 stars out of 5. The most helpful positive review says it's better than you might think. The most helpful negative review says it was dropped in the store. I really dislike it when people leave a negative comment about something the manufacturer has no control over. Here's the novel-like list of ingredients. And Hungry Man was kind enough to break down the ingredients individually for us to view before we ingest this highly processed frozen meal. And of course there's TVP in the meat. You can't have a really good, highly processed TV dinner without having TVP in the meat. The meals just wouldn't be the same if the meat didn't feel like you were chewing on a moist nursing home mattress. The whole Hungry Man grilled beef patty dinner has 450 calories, 22 grams of total fat, 13 grams of saturated fat, 55 milligrams of cholesterol, 1,160 milligrams of sodium, 39 grams of carbohydrates, 10 grams of fiber, 8 grams of sugars, and 24 grams of protein. Isn't it sad when it comes to a point you see 1,160 milligrams of sodium and you don't think it's that much? And you'll also notice 24 grams of protein. But on the front of the box, it said 21 grams of protein. So maybe you get the other three grams if you eat the box. You can heat the Hunger Man dinner up in a conventional oven or microwave oven. And since I love you, the people, so much, I broke the bank and bought two of these meals so we could try one in the oven and one in the microwave for you, the people. We're going to do the first Hungry Man beef patty dinner in the oven. And the meal actually doesn't look bad at all. The only thing it said to do was to cut a slit over the vegetables and then it goes into a preheated 350 degree oven for 35 to 40 minutes or until it gets to 160 degrees. Then you prepare the second meal that goes into the microwave exactly the same way. Cut a slit in the film over the vegetables and then it goes into the microwave for 4 minutes. After 4 minutes, remove it from the microwave, pull the plastic film back and then flip the grilled beef patties over. Give the homestyle mashed potatoes a stir. And I told you, these don't look anything like homestyle mashed potatoes. Once everything is flipped and mixed, recover with the plastic film and pop it back into the microwave for three more minutes. After cooking for a total of seven minutes, our Hungry Man grilled beef patty dinner is ready. And it still looks good and it actually smells good, but those potatoes, they don't look good. Since I've been knocking the mashed potatoes for the whole video so far, I figured I'd try them first. And they were really no surprise. They were crappy potatoes. But the texture did change a little bit, I gotta give them that. They look horrid when we first stirred them out of the microwave, but they did cream up a little bit. It's just that chalky flavor you get in a whole lot of frozen dinner mashed potatoes. And it's not just because they're frozen dinner mashed potatoes, because there's a few frozen dinners with really, really delicious mashed potatoes that do taste like homestyle mashed potatoes. So if other manufacturers can make good mashed potatoes in a frozen dinner, why can't Hungry Man? I agree with the old saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But Hungry Man, your potatoes are broke. After Mrs. Wolf Pit flipped the patties over, I decided I wanted to try the mashed potatoes with the savory beer gravy. And the gravy was good. And it did help the mashed potatoes somewhat, but it's kind of like putting lipstick on a pig. It's still a pig. The gravy is a little bit salty, but it had a good flavor to it, but I didn't taste any beer. It's supposed to be savory beer gravy. How can you have savory beer gravy if you can't taste the beer? Next we try the grilled beef patty. And it was certainly very moist and tender when you cut into it. 
Mrs. Wolf Pit and I took a bite. Her eyes popped wide open. Was that the look of fear? No, she loved the grilled beef patty. And she even went as far as saying it was delicious. When she said it was delicious, I needed to hurry up and take a bite of mine and find out what kind of crazy she's peddling. There's not a chance this is delicious. So my piece of the grilled beef patty went into the old pie hole and down the gullet. And now my eyes popped wide open too. But was it really a look of fear this time? No, not at all. It was the look of hope. The grilled beef patty was pretty good. Even with the TVP, the texture wasn't bad at all. It had a pretty good real meat texture. Somehow, the meat made the gravy really pop with a subtle beer flavor. The vegetables were next, which are sometimes the only edible item in a frozen meal. And these vegetables didn't disappoint. They had a nice tender crisp texture and good flavor. Even though they're already in a sauce, a pat of butter and a sprinkle of salt and pepper in the vegetables and the mashed potatoes would go a long way. And last but not least, the obligatory bite of everything. The grilled beef patty with the savory beer gravy, the homestyle mashed potatoes, and the mixed vegetables. After cooking in a 350 degree oven for 35 minutes, our second Hungry Man grilled beef patty dinner is ready. So to keep things consistent, we tried the potatoes first in this meal too. And just like the ones cooked in the microwave, they looked nice and creamy. But unfortunately, the looks are deceiving. I mean, they are somewhat creamy, but they taste no different than the ones in the microwave. But again, like I said, a little pat of butter and some salt and pepper will take these a long way. Or you can mix the potatoes with the tasty beer gravy. Next, we tried the grilled beef patty, which I thought was just a little bit better than the one in the microwave. It seemed to have just a little bit more flavor and it was actually even more tender than the one in the microwave. And even the beer flavor with the gravy was better. And I'm not really sure what happened to the mixed vegetables. They weren't nearly as fresh tasting as the ones cooked in the microwave and they seemed to overcook a bit, but that might be the way you like your vegetables. And then once again, one last bite of everything. I wasn't really expecting too much from the Hungry Man Grilled Beef Patty Dinner, but it was slightly better than I thought it would be. I didn't like the mashed potatoes in either of them. The meat in the one cooked in the microwave was pretty good. The meat of the one cooked in the oven was better, but just slightly, not good enough where I want to wait 35 minutes for it to cook. But then the vegetables cooked in the oven weren't very good at all, but the ones cooked in the microwave were real good. Cooked either way, they're both average meals. They'll fill you up and give you some calories and nutrition, but it's not going to be the most delicious thing you've ever eaten. But for $3.74, I'd say it's a decent meal. And with each of them, they have their pros and cons, and they're pretty much equal. But I'd give the edge to the one cooked in the oven. So with that said, the one in the microwave gets a 5 out of 10, and the one out of the oven gets a 5.1 out of 10. Thank you all very much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe, and share it with your family and friends, and I'll see you soon.